Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to achieve fancy scrolls in a Flutter app. Alright, question. Have you ever wondered how to achieve fancy scrolls within your Flutter app? If so, then this video is just for you. With the help of one of the popular widgets yet minimally used in the development process known as Sliver widget, we will be able to achieve fancy scrolls within our Flutter app. With the help of the Sliver widget, we will be able to provide more custom driven yet more intuitive way of defining the scrolls in our Flutter app. Say for example what we have here is a simple demo tutorial which I have created with the help of the sleevers. And if you pay attention you will notice that if I try to scroll the page you see that the image which is placed at the very top actually slides below the white container and, and the list view just slides below it. Right? And the same way if I try to scroll after reaching the very top you see that the image which is placed at the top gets zoomed in just to indicate the user that we have actually reached the very top and there is nothing to show up after that just to denote that we have more intuitive way of um, a zoom in option we can also have a blur kind of option as well but in this video i have made use of zoom in okay so these kinds of ui you will be able to see in most of the popular apps nowadays and in this video we will try to replicate the same kind of style with the help of sleevers in our Flutter apps therefore without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this sleever widget in our Flutter app Alright, first starting with the main.dat file where we have made use of generated routes and the initial route points to my home page and here in the my home page we have a stateless widget class that is going to make use of custom scroll view okay only with the help of custom scroll view we will be able to implement the sleevers and it is going to take a list of sleevers the first sleever is going to be the app bar that is the image what we have right over here at the very top and secondly we have the search bar that is the search bar what we have um, next below the app bar okay and finally the third component is going to be the list view builder okay so totally three basic components what we have as a sleevers inside the custom scroll view now let's start implementing this individual components one after the other now we have the scaffold and inside the body we will be having the custom scroll view as we have discussed earlier and the custom scroll view is going to take a list of sleevers the first sleever is going to be the sleever app bar and this sleever app bar will be going to have a list of parameters as you can see here as you hover over that widget You'll be able to see a list of um, uh, optional as well as required parameters you can uh, just play around with. Say for example with the help of the sleever app bar you'll be able to either make the widget pinned at the top while scrolling or you can also have it as a floating one or you can also provide the values for the stretch which is going to have some kind of stretching animation which we saw earlier and all those things we have inside the sleever app bar. Okay so let's start with the basic set of uh, parameters and provide them with the specific values first is going to be the background color which i have stated as the scaffold background color so i'm not going to specify any color specifically for this sleeve wrap bar it is going to take the color which is scaffold color and i'm going to set the elevation as zero just don't want any shadow kind of thing right over the sleeve wrap bar so i will be setting that elevation as zero and this lever app bar is going to be pinned at the top so it is not going to disappear upon scroll so i want that to be pinned let me just provide the boolean variable as true just like a uh, center tile i want that is false and expanded height is nothing but the total height you want that sliver app bar to be covering up during the initial stage i ha have provided it as 300 pixels you can just provide any value you want and finally we have the flexible space and within the flexible space bar for the background parameter i will be providing the relative part of the asset image okay now if i hard restart you'll be able to see that the image so this is the image actually that is going to take around 300 pixel and this is going to be uh, pinned at the top in it won't disappear upon scroll okay so this is going to be the first component what we have inside this lever list okay the next thing which we need to implement is the search bar okay so let us start with that all right now let's we'll start with the search bar below the sleever app bar which we have defined earlier i will be just uh, um, providing the search bar widget which is again going to be a sleever app bar and the same way it is going to take the background color as the scaffold color and it is going to have the pinned value as true for the flexible space i'll be providing it with the 
search bar so this search bar is going to be a custom defined class that is um, uh, going to hold all the styles and all those things that the search bar needs okay so i am not going to discuss that for this tutorial which is actually not needed right now so basically we have implemented two sleever app bars one is going to be the sleever app bar that corresponds to this image and the second sleever app bar it is going to correspond to the search bar okay and provide with the specific values for the parameters like up in elevation background color so on and so forth so now we have successfully defined two components and the final thing is going to be the list view okay so let's start with that now for the list view we are going to make use of the sliver list this is going to help us to, uh, implement that list view and it is going to take the delegates and let me provide the child count as 20 that is basically 20 children is going to be inside the sliver list and these children nothing but a set of a, a predefined containers with uh, defined colors okay so nothing much if i hard restart you'll be able to see that i have almost achieved the desired kind of scrolling which we actually thought of implementing but the only thing which is left over is that as i keep scrolling to the top this image which is placed at the sliver app bar is not going is not expanding or not zooming in to provide a relative kind of information regarding the scroll so for that we need to make use of a parameter called stretch and by default it is set as false let me just set it as true and now if, if you try to scroll to the top you see that the image is actually getting zoomed in which is kind of a more intuitive way of defining the users about the uh, scroll all right and there are um, certain kinds of uh, stretch modes you can actually provide with a list of stretch modes if you hover over you'll be able to see that by default we have this zoom background that is the reason you will be able to have this kind of zooming option as you scroll to the top you can also edit that give it a blur background which means that as the name suggests if you scroll if you scroll it is going to blur the background of that um, app bar widget right see if you scroll that it is going to uh, blur that widget uh, contents right so this is how you'll be able to provide a more custom driven scroll animations with the help of sleeve widgets in Flutter. hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye